so to change needles, because they do break every now and then, um, you just unscrew that. So it's covered by the door, so you might not realize there's a screw there on the plastic cover. And then you've got your, so I'll put this down so it makes it a little easier to see the needles. And I'll raise that all the way up. So the biggest problem I find with this machine, it's not very well lit, but I've got other lights that I can use. But sometimes you can't tell, because there's so many, there are 12 needles in here. And if one breaks, I use a magnifying glass sometimes to see them. So I can't always tell. But in this case, it doesn't look like any of them needs changing. They all have ends on them. But if they do break, when you get this machine, you get an Allen key. And you just unscrew the appropriate Allen key and I use a pair of tweezers to push the uh, needles up as far as you can go. But there was one surprise I got um, with this machine which I didn't realize is that not all needles are the same. They all fit, or the ones I bought fit. But as always I keep my needle nose pliers handy. So what I found is that there are different lengths of needles. So let me show you this one. So we've got that one there. And, then I, oops. and it doesn't matter which way they go in um, because they're round shank. this. So I've got three different pit needles there and all three of them are slightly different lengths. Um, and I mean slightly, but we're talking millimeters. But what I found in this machine is it they break really quickly because it's, for some reason they seem to be shorter needles. So it didn't matter to me. I just order these from eBay. They all came. They're all different sizes. However, what I have found that works really well to solve the problem is just cut off a few millimeters um, at the very top with a pair of pliers. And then they are become the length that the machine expects. So it, it was a lot less of a problem than I anticipated. But the difference between these is some of them are medium, some of them are fine. It just depends um, which ones you've got. Okay, that's definitely fine. That's that one. going to order some soon because there's not that many left. The fine ones I've not used much of because I think they just break immediately with the heavy duty stuff I've been using. So for a finer um, fabric or felt thing that would be fine. But that was a way I got around the problem with needles of different length and I just keep them in the extra drawer there so they're always handy with the Allen keys so that I can always get at them. <clears throat> and then that way, I always have my 12 needles. Put it back on, all done, needles done.